Pharma State presents Pharma Talks. Hi, this is Swati from Pharma State and you are watching Pharma Talks. Today we have with us Mr. Rajendra Tamboli, former director technical training Dr. Reddy's and subject matter expert in OSD and injectables. He has a vast experience of over 3.5 decades working in pharmaceutical industry and he has worked in companies like USV, Sandoz India, AstraZeneca, Medreach, Panacea Biotech and Rubicon Research. I welcome you Mr. Tamboli. Thank you. So the first question from my side would be trainings and pharma. These two words are inseparable. So what should be the focus of trainings in pharmaceutical industries? Uh, focus of training in the pharmaceutical industry broadly will be classified into two categories. One is the technical training and second is the soft skills training. Kindly yeah. elaborate on the technical trainings in pharmaceutical industries. Yeah. When I say technical training, what I mean is that the training should be imparted to the employee so that he knows and understands the equipment he is using. He also knows and understand the product and the process on which he will be working. He should be aware of the GMP rules and regulations with which he has to comply while he is working. These trainings will make him self-sufficient and also will ensure that he does his work as per the requirements of the company. That was very nicely explained sir. The next question from my side would be regarding the soft skill trainings in pharma industry. How these trainings in pharma industry are different from those in other industries? Uh, the soft skill trainings in pharma industry are not different from other industries, but the significance of the soft skill uh, trainings in pharma industry is different from other industries. And the reason for saying this is, in pharma industry, the soft skills have to be used in taking the decisions, in analyzing the situations within the framework of the rules and regulations. That means you need a more disciplined culture when you are working in pharma industry so that you do not compromise on the quality as well as the quantity of the product. What are the challenges the pharma industry is facing currently in recruiting people with adequate skills and experience? Uh, pharma industry is definitely uh, struggling a bit in getting the employees with the right skill set which will ensure that they perform their job in a uh, compliant manner. The major concern comes when we start thinking about recruiting the fresh graduates or postgraduates from the colleges and educational institutes. The situation is, while the graduates and the postgraduates have gained knowledge of the subject while they were in the college, they do not have a knowledge and understanding of the kind of work they have to perform, their roles and responsibilities when they take up a, a job in an industry and they also have to ensure that they comply with all the GMP rules and regulations while they work. Now, it means the students from the colleges have to be guided, they have to be trained, they have to be coached so that we can transform them from students to employees and subsequently from employees to the professionals in the pharmaceutical exactly. industry. Exactly. In this pharma talk, with Mr. Rajendra Tamboli, we got to know very important points regarding trainings in pharmaceutical industry. I will request Mr. Tamboli to summarize this for our viewers. Okay, to summarize this, uh, as we started, training is an indispensable part of pharma industry to ensure that the employees are competent and capable to perform their uh, duties and ensure that they produce a quality product. They must have a confidence to do their work consistently, correctly and this can be achieved by imparting technical and soft skill training to the employees. So those were few words from Mr. Rajendra Tamboli regarding trainings. 
Thank you, Mr. Rajendra Tamboli, for coming on Pharma Talks and sharing your thoughts on trainings with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.